Hey there, everybody. Phil here for AndroidCentral.com. And we've complained before about a lack of honeycomb-optimized apps, especially Twitter apps. Well, here's one of the first ones we've seen. This is Tweetcomb from the same guys who brought you Newser, a uh, really nice RSS reader for Honeycomb. And if you've ever used TweetDeck, it really kind of borrows the look and feel of that. So you've got three columns. Uh, on the left, you have your Twitter timeline. In the middle, you have mentions. And on the right, you have direct messages. And really nice scrolling between the three, right? Really smooth, and that is nice to see because we've had issues with that in Android before, but very, very fast. Uh, it's a very simple user interface, very intuitive. So you have lists of tweets and you read them. <laughs> um, now, you might think that to uh, to work with a tweet, you would tap it. No, you have to tap and hold. And now you have the option to reply to that person. Uh, you can retweet it, favorite it, whatever, share it over uh, different mediums. So once you have that down, you're set. Um, let's see what else. Here is how you actually update your uh, Twitter status. And let's just try this out now. Now it should start with a capital letter, but it doesn't, oops. Remember this is in beta, so it's not quite finished and there are a couple things that don't work. We'll see here in a second. Twesting, twesting, testing, tweet comb. And send. That simple. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Now you'll notice um, there are no options down there on the bottom, right? No little menu button. So everything is up here in the action bar like it should be in the honeycomb, and that's good to see. You can supposedly add an account that doesn't actually work yet, so you're stuck with one account right now, which is no good for me, but for you it's probably okay. And then you have a few options. You can do background notifications if you so choose, and a couple other little things. It's nice to see. Uh, let's see, down here at the bottom, you have, uh, oh, there's my tweet. It just showed up, woohoo! So down on the bottom you have uh, what's trending, but you can't actually do anything with it yet, right? It doesn't open up the list of uh, tweets that are hashtagged with all those. So again, it's in beta, and we'll hopefully see this uh, grow a little bit in the coming weeks and months. See, that doesn't do anything either. That's kind of about it. It's just a really nice, uh, simple little honeycomb optimized Twitter app in the first one we've seen. So there you go, guys. A very quick look at Tweetcomb.